hello it's tina the thriftaholic um if you haven't been to my channel before welcome um i am a part-time thrifter youtuber ebayer uh, i like to go to thrift shops flea markets church sales estate sales wherever garbage picking no <laughs> i don't do too much of that not too much of that. Once in a while, I'll get a freebie. But um, I am going to share with you today. I like to do unpacks and because what I wind up doing a lot of times is I wind up going to a thrift store, but I still have inventory in the house that I have to get through, I feel like, before I can bring anything in. <laughs> so a thrift haul might stay in my car for a couple of days until I work through some other things. And then it's like seeing it again for the first time when I go through it. So I like to share that with you and uh, I hope you enjoy it. And I am just going to get started. It is not a big haul. I went to Nine Lives Thrift Shop in Coopersburg. I live in Pennsylvania and I went to Coopersburg. Um, every first Wednesday of every month, they run half price on the whole story, so store. So there's no limitations, it's everything. It's jewelry, it's handbags, it's shoes, clothes, and household. I like to look at hard goods first. It's just me, I just do. A lot of times I run out of time and I don't even get a chance to look at the clothing. I might try backwards next month, maybe. So I did get some very interesting things from what I remember and um, I'm going to share them with you now. So the first thing I came across, I do remember the first thing, was outside. And it's this, needs a little cleaning up, but it's a dried flower picture on the bottom. So these are real dried flowers. And then on the top, it says, happiness is like a butterfly. The more you chase it, the more it will elude you. But if you turn your attention to other things, it comes and softly sits on your shoulder. So I think that's a great motto. And this was 99 cents, so half price, it was 50 cents. Not the best frame in the world, but not the worst. It is wood, it's, at least it's not plastic, right? And it's, it's actually pretty decent if you look at up close. So um, all in all, it's a nice little find. It is also signed in the bottom corner there. Carly, Carly, and I think it has a date. No, I think that's just, it's done on that, um, that natural paper. It's got all the little speckles in it. So yeah, very cute. I could probably get, I think possibly $20 for this because of the dried flowers. That is a desirable thing. I have seen it on eBay um, selling for about that, about, or I have to look at solds. I'm thinking they're listed 25 to 35, but they probably, they sell it around 20. But this also has a saying, so who knows? Okay, the next thing I have is this interesting piece. I think this is very interesting. So it's a tile. And actually looking at it in the camera, it doesn't look that spectacular, but I feel like up close, it's pretty cool. Um, maybe just because of the variations in the paint and, and it is, I believe all hand done design, you know, hand painted and it's mounted on cork on the back, but it is a tile. At first I thought from the gray edge, I was thinking, oh, it's slate. But if you look at the back, you can see that it's ceramic tile. So part of me wants to peel the cork off and see if it's signed or anything. It's not signed on the front anywhere. I guess it could be a trivet um, or it could just, I, it could be a wall decoration, but it doesn't have anything to hang it from. So you would probably have to get those um, plate brackets and use like two of them and hang them both up. But I just think it was pretty cool. And for, it was $1.99, so it only cost me a dollar. So for a dollar, 
I was willing to kind of see where it would go. Because it's quite possible, quite possible, that this could go for about $40. Um, and I would probably start it out that way, maybe even a little higher. Let's see what happens. But I think it's a pretty cool piece. Uh, what else do we have? This, again, this had some very intriguing items this time around. Okay, so this looks a little odd, right? It's actually, when I did like a, a, a Google lens on it, it came out as a geisha's wig, which makes sense. It does look like a geisha's wig but it's sitting on this little stand, which is just covered with fabric, just a piece of wood. It's mounted on a lacquered board. I didn't even notice if it was marked underneath. Oh, it's a lacquered piece of wood. It's just a piece of wood. <laughs> I don't know. It, The base of it and everything seems cheaply done, but the actual wig looks really cool so we'll give it a try i think it was 99 cents so it only cost me 50 cents that is worthwhile checking out and these guys are from sonic so they're hedgehogs i don't know their names I think I looked them up when they were, I was there. And I do believe this guy goes for about $25. This one probably goes between 15 and 20. And each of them only cost me 50 cents. Oh, they're so cute. And actually when I went up to the counter, the, um, the girl thought that there was the blue one, the Sonic the Hedgehog, but I didn't see him there. So this is good enough for me. I could probably turn a dollar into about 40 or 45 so that's awesome all right next i had a brass planter um that was not embossed like this I, uh it had a shell right here in the center front and i think it sold for like between 15 and 20 and this is a hosley which I do look for this brand. I think it is a better made brand. I don't know if you could see the, see the H in the middle there? And it says Hosley around the bottom and it says copyright <laughs> around the top. But it was very clean. Um, it is also marked on the bottom oval planter just with the UPC tag. So um, it is actually dated 2004. And it cost me, this says $1.99, so it cost me a dollar. Again, everything, I think, I think almost everything I got. I don't think anything was more than $2.50. So, um, yeah, so we'll see what that goes for. I'm thinking it's probably be about um, $17. Oh, okay. oh, that's right. I forgot about this. This I kind of made a mistake on, but I'm gonna bring it out and then I'll show you the other things. It's heavy because it is a doorstop. And I did a Google lens on it and I looked it up and I sold saw only one and it was on Etsy. And I know the price on it said like over $200, like $250 or something. Now that's not to say that it's sold for that. So I bought it, it was $24.99, so I paid $12.50 for it, but I thought, ha, ah, I could get even $100, it's worth it, right? Well then, when I got back in the car, I looked it up on Worth Point, and I found, I just put in, it's a cowboy boot, okay? So I put in cowboy boot doorstop, and I got a whole bunch of like, not bright color ones, like more that looked like cowboyish, and like, dusty brown, you know, that kind of thing. And um, then I saw this one as a sold and it only said like 32 or $35. So that was a real wah wah. But it is still kind of cool, you know. 
So there it is. There's the cowboy boot doorstop. I think it's still, it's, it's nicely done. I have to say that. I did not look when I was there for any markings on it, which I don't see any, but I pretty much gathered that. Um, I don't know. So we'll see. I think I'll probably list it for like 45 or 50 just to see if I can get a little more out of it because there are no other ones like this listed. So, um, again, I paid twelve fifty for that. So that was my most expensive thing. And actually, I think my whole bill only came to whoo, 24 or 26. Uh-oh, this doesn't stand on its own. We're in trouble. Hmm, that might not be the best doorstop in the world. I don't think it's standing up straight. Okay, so that's that. Then I did get these. These I thought was very interesting. And I actually wanted to explore them a little more. Okay, so these are wood. Look at that delicate neck. And look at the carving detail on it. I just thought they were really well done. Now, I do believe they are candlestick holders for very teeny tiny candles are very thin tapers. I'm assuming that's what they are. There's two of them. Usually candlestick holders come in pairs. Now, these are marked on the bottom and you could tell they were done on a, what is that called? A lathe, is that what it is? When they're turned around and around and around, spun around like, um, like banister rails. Okay, so this is, I'm gonna take the tag off now. These were $2.99 a piece. So for the pair, I paid $2.99. And it says, Weber Wood, Boiling Spring PA, and they are signed Weber and David, 80, 1980. So um, the fact that they're dated and like actually signed like engraved signed um is really good i think that'll add to the uh, to the value of them um and i'm just kind of excited about these because i didn't see any other ones now i did see other weber wood items and they were very well they were um very well priced and um, sold for a decent amount i think I think I could get probably about 40 for the pair. That's what I'm thinking. It's possibly more because they're the only ones out there that look like this. And there were no other ones like detailed like this. And the wood itself is really pretty. Look at the wood, ooh, ooh. A little imperfection there. I didn't notice that before. But oh, I just think they were so cool looking. Of course, it will help if I can find itty bitty candlesticks tapers like those really thin ones that aren't bent because a lot of times when they're really skinny they aren't so if i could find ones that aren't bent and actually show them with candles i think that will really help sell them i just think they're beautiful so i was very happy with those 2.99 on the same shelf found this so this is from the sea of galilee and it's um, brass, mm, maybe not brass. It's enamel though, there's an, oh, I think there's enamel. Yeah, there's enamel on metal and it's like a brass colored painted metal. Um, and this uh, depicts the loaves and the fishes uh, story from the Bible, from the New Testament. So um, I did see a couple of other things done this way, but not, I'm assuming this is a letter holder. So not a letter holder, which is double-sided. So um, I think this will probably be about $25. And I paid 50 cents. Woohoo! Okay, next. Now what's wrapped in here? I forgot. I'm gonna feel it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see, see, that's what I mean. It's like a little surprise. 
because I forgot what this is. Oh, yes, now I remember. Just a cool little fishy. So I, I don't know what this is made of. I guess a type of resin. Can you tell from the back? It's got the little hanger on it. It has little foam, left leftover foam things, I guess. So someone didn't want to mark their wall up. And um, the detail's really nice. Now it does look like it has this little, I don't know what that is. It might be, yes, woohoo. It's just sticker that needs to be removed. I got it off. Okay, and then I'll remove the tag. So I got this for 50 cents. It's a nice little brightly colored fish for your wall. Probably about $15 is what I'll probably get for it. 14 or $15. Okay, two more things and then we're done. These are silver plated tongs and they are, what was the name on them? Shoot, I'm going to forget now. Wallace, Wallace silver plated. And I actually Googled this. Look at the handle. Isn't that pretty? I actually Googled this and um, I think they saw uh, the exact one sold for $45 and I paid, this was listed as $4.99. I paid $2.50. Yay. All right. So I, yeah, so I'm assuming I'm going to get about 45 for these. So at least that I have a little bit of a better idea because that exact one was there. Okay, here, this goes down. I'm gonna put that, save that for last because that, that's the most interesting thing and the cheapest thing, actually. Um, but this was beautiful. See, I am a sucker for beautiful illustrations on books and look at that. Isn't that stunning? Okay, so this says Alexander Pushkin, The Tale of Tsar Sal. Wait. The tale of Tsar Salton, of his son, the glorious and mighty knight Prince Gideon Saltanovich, and of the fair swan princess. <laughs> Drawings by E. I. Bilibin. And it says Moscow. And actually, if you look, at the, it's Cyr what is it called? Cyrillic letters. See? Can you see them? And, um, the book is in English. Let's see, but look at this. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? And oh, look at the swan. And that starts with that big letter in like a pretty picture. And here's another beautiful illustration. Just the illustrations alone are worth it. And then look at the way it's written. It's really interesting. It's written in columns. Isn't that interesting? And there's a lot of writing too. So it's a pretty detailed story. I guess that's the czar or the son of the czar. <gasps> look at this picture. Now this reminds me, I think there's a lot of t-shirts made with something like this, like that wave, like but this has something in it. Oh, a barrel. But just so pretty. I just love this book. But I'm not going to keep it. <laughs> I will sell it. And it looks like each of the illustrations actually has a signature. Can you see that in the bottom corner? Um, I don't, I believe it's sort of like writing. I'm not sure. It does not look like I, whatever it is, Billabin. Um, so it just might be in the foreign language. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure what this is gonna go for. Look at that pretty picture too. It will probably, I'm thinking about $30 maybe. I spent 50 cents on it. So probably about $25, $30, I think. Ooh, there's a naked lady on here. Ooh, can't show that. All right, last thing is, oh, this I was gonna save this for last. My cheapest item and yet my 
most interesting item. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Now, it's this part's a little bent. I might have to put him in a book so this straightens out. But does anybody know what this is? I do believe that this is a puppet, a shadow puppet. And I don't know what makes me think that. I'm thinking because I saw when my kids used to watch Bear in the Big Blue House, there was an episode that used shadow puppets and they looked a lot like this. They had movable parts though. This doesn't have movable parts. And um, yeah, that's what I think it is. So I'm really curious to see how this prices out and what kind of interesting things I could find about it when I research it. I really enjoy that part. Um, it's great when things are easy to list, but I do enjoy researching and finding unique things, you know? So anyway, this was only tagged at 50 cents. So I got it for 25 cents. And I think this is going to be valuable. I think this is going to be quite possibly a $70 item, possibly because of the age and the uniqueness of it and how well done it is. I mean, it is really well done. So I'm, I'm excited. And I guess that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, become a follower. Um, if you click the little heart, you'll be notified when I uh, release my next video. So um, again, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back with some more because Hobby and I are going to Shillington Goodwill tomorrow, which um, a fellow YouTuber, uh, Karen from Lavender Clothesline, she goes there a lot. And when she videos there, her shop, her shopping trip, those good that Goodwill looks like 20 times better than mine. So I'm excited to see what it's like. And next week, I am going to another 25 cent sale for my little, that church in Bardo. So I'm excited and I'm going to share it all with you, all my finds. So happy hunting, everybody. See you next time.